morning guys how are you going it is ingrid here and today we're going to be doing my march neverland tbr i am very excited also nervous i did six rolls last month like why i'm gonna show you the books that i had for last month if you have not watched that and you want to you can it will be linked down below if you don't know what this whole thing is the neverland tbr game is a board game that my sister and i created and so i go on an adventure through Neverland and it helps me pick out my monthly TBR. I will not be going through the board today. I did it in January so go check that out if you want to know the rules. But um, yeah, the things I was supposed to read last month. So I did six rolls and I'm not showing you the spines. That's... I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna go over them actually just one at a time. So I had Ova Gansen for the Wendy sibling prompt, and I did read this. And then I had Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett for the Tinkerbell Fairy Loot one. This one I listened to on audio, and those two were the only ones I completed. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the ones I didn't complete. And there is a reason for most of these. Um, the first one that I simply just forgot was self-made volume one so i will put this on next month's tbr i will not try and get it into the game but i'm reading this next month because i honestly just forgot that it was on there um and then next one uh we have never tell a gathering of shadows and crooked kingdom now the reason why i did not read these this one i could not get a hold on the audiobook it wasn't available in any library that i have access to it wasn't an audible wasn't on like any service that I know of and because of my health I really discovered this month that physical books we're not really talking right now and so my game plan for this month is definitely to get books that have audiobooks so that's why I didn't get to this one and then a gathering of shadows I did start and uh, you can barely I didn't read a lot but I knew there was an audiobook for this, but when I went to Audible to like get it, I read through the reviews and most of the reviews said that the performance was just not good and I don't want to not like a book because the narrator is doing a bad job, so this one I'm just gonna have to wait until my health is a little bit better and I can focus on reading it with my eyes. So I will stop putting this on my TBR because we're just... We need a little break. And then the last one is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. Now this I am currently listening to, so I'm halfway through. So I'll be continuing this next month. The biggest reason as to why I haven't finished this is because I don't want to. I don't want... Like, I don't know how this is going to end. I, I have not been spoiled for anything. Like, are they all going to die? Or are some going to I don't know. I honestly don't know. And so I'm scared and that's why I haven't push myself to finish it but I am halfway and I really really like this audiobook I have listened to Six of Crows in audiobook as well so yeah these two will be on my March TBR but I won't put them into the actual game but I'm learning from my mistakes and this month I will not pick more than one book that does not have an audiobook that I have access to because that just it just doesn't work for me and I will also not pick that many fantasy it's my strategy like i don't know what the game's gonna do maybe it all has to be fantasy but right now where my health at just the big fantasy worlds with the difficult words and and just the fact that i'm reading like a fantasy world in a second language is hard by itself so yeah but i think that's enough rambling we're gonna get into the roles i'm gonna do five this time because six was not was not good so I'm going to turn the camera around and let's start with the rolls. All right. So last time we landed on the little house, which was so satisfying since it is like the start. So yeah, five rolls and let's just go ahead with roll number one. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why we keep landing on the treasure cards. But all right. So the first treasure card, let's see if it's a good or a bad one. Male protagonist. All right, we can work with that. 
we start off with a treasure card because is this Neverland TBR if we don't get like half of these? But yeah, first one, Male Protagonist. And for this one, I'm going to be reading Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Currently have this up from the library. I also have the audiobook on hold from the library and it's also available from Audible. So I covered my grounds. But this is just a love story, I think, between the Prince of Wales and... I think it's the president's son, the president of America, something like that. It's supposed to be a really cute love story. It's a contemporary, so I think that will be good. Uh, so yeah. Moving on to roll number two. One. Oh no. Fuck. Oh, I really did not want this. Okay, the Cannibal Cove is where I... It, I said we would cross this bridge when we got to it. Well, apparently we've gotten to it. Uh, so this is the Fuck My Life one. Um, all right. Perfect month to get that. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we landed on Cannibal Cove, which is Fuck My Life. I said we would cross this bridge when we get to it while we're here. And I don't really know what to do with this one. So when I have it figured out, I will insert a little clip. All right, so it's later the same day. And I've had a talk with my sister about what to do. <laughs> so the whole point of the Cannibal Cove was to do something that I didn't want, like um, read a book that I wasn't really like wanting to read. And uh, I'm torn between two books. So I called my sister, asked her like what she thought and she didn't mind either way. So I thought I would give you guys the power. I mean, the whole reason why I created a TBR game is because I suck at making decisions. And so yeah, I'm gonna do one of those poll things. I don't know which corner it's in. So, but yeah, you can press the little eye icon and it will drop down and you can press which one of these books you want me to read. And those are Twilight by Stephanie Mayer, Mayer and Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Now, I have read Twilight. I read it when I was like 12, 13, around that age and I think I read the first two in Norwegian and then the rest wasn't translated yet and so I read those in English. I honestly think those were my first English books ever, like proper novels, um, but I have not read it since and so I want to, like I want to reread it but I don't, I also like don't want to read it, does that make sense? So that's why this is one of them. I want to see if I'm still Team Jacob. I'm assuming everyone has heard of this book, it's Vampire Werewolves teenage angst so should I reread this and see if my 22 year old self will enjoy it or should I read a Cassandra Clare book now you guys might not know this but I've read three Cassandra Clare I've read City of Bones, City of Ashes and City of Glass I've hated all three of them why have I read three you ask I ask myself that question a lot I just I love the premise of these books like the world and I kind of want to watch a TV show. It seems like my kind of like trashy TV show. And the re like the way that I've gotten through the other ones uh, has been with wine. And that has helped a lot. And I'm going away to the cabin for a week. So I'm thinking I can try then. This is the first in a trilogy. And so in publication order, this is the next one that I should read. And um, this one is going to determine if me and Cassandra Clare are going to break up for good or not. Because if I don't like this, then I'm not going to bother to read any other of her works. This is set in the same world as the Moral Instrument, the um, City of Bones series. And it's set in London, in Victorian England times. And I think there's a love triangle. That's all I know. Of course, I want to read these as in like the idea of reading them. Like I want to get it done. But I don't actually want like physically pick it up and have to do the work. Does that make sense? So which one should I reread? Should I push myself to continue on with the Shadow Hunter world and give it one last chance? Or should I reread Twilight and get some of that teenage angst? And either way, it's gonna be a cringe fest, so vote up somewhere. I will go to the cabin, I think. It's like the 10th around that time so I'll ha leave it up until then and then I'll check before I leave to the cabin to see which one I'll be bringing with me so 
let's go on to roll number three. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I keep getting these cards, man. Like, there's an even amount of number with these cards, those cards on the roll one, but... I don't know. This game just likes me to dig after treasure, so let's see what this one is. Okay, so the book needs to have an odd page number. That's not too bad. So we got another treasure card. This one was odd page number, and for this I'm going with Kieran Mala og Slangenes Hemlighet. This is translated into Norwegian, so I got this from the Norwegian publisher, so thank you very much. But this is originally called The Serpent Secret, I want to say. It does, I can't find that page. The cover looks the same in English, and so I have access to the English audiobook as well, so it should be good, but this is in my first language, so it should be easier to read physically. I don't know that much about it, to be honest. It's a part of their Rick Riordan and Percents publishing. So I know it deals with some type of mythology, but I'm not really sure what. And it does not say on the back, so I'm excited. We're up to row number four. Four. One, two, three, four. All right, we'll bring in my roll A card. So I'll use my... D8 is just a dice with eight sides, and whichever number will have to read something. Yeah, you get it. So let's go. Four. A historical fiction. Uh, okay. Next, we got a roll A card, which I think is really fun. It definitely takes me out of my comfort zone, which it did with this one, because we land on historical fiction. And now, because again, brain fog. I don't think I can read something that's very, very, like, historical, a lot of facts kind of thing. So the one I went for is Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Maniscalco. It is a little bit chunky, but um, the audiobook is an audible <laughs> going my grounds. And uh, this is the second book in these Talking Jack the Ripper. It's not a trilogy, I think it's four books. But I read the first one, really, really enjoyed it. I love that this is a flappy paperback. There is some like photos in it. So I will be like looking at those while probably listening to it. And so for this one, they're gonna be hunting Prince Dracula. Just like in the first one, they were hunting, they were stalking Jack the Ripper. So it's a historical mystery. And I think this one might have more romance, which I'm not really fan of the romance that is happening, but I love the mystery aspect and I really love our main character, so I'm excited. Well, on to the last roll. Please be a good one. Oh my god. Roll number five and the last one for this month is two. One, two. Wait, sorry, Pua. So we finally got another card. So this is the fairy dust one, so it's just filled with random prompts. I'm nervous, I don't know why, but let's, let's do this. An animal on the cover. Yeah, we can do that. And lastly, we landed on a fairy dust card. I'm so excited. I don't know why I prefer these to the treasure chest one. I think, because for the tre treasure chest, I think I know more of the prompts, because there's like opposites. But with the fairy dust, I don't remember what I wrote on them. <laughs> and so for this one, we have animal on the cover and I'm going to be putting in the middle grade monthly books. At least the first one has animal, animals on the cover. Because, you know, middle grade monthly, I have it linked in the description. It's a middle grade monthly book club. And for March, you're doing two books. But I have access to both on audio. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it would be good. I also have the first one on Kindle, if I do feel like I can read physically. And the first one is A Pinch of Magic. I don't know what it's about. I'm just going to be honest. I don't even know what genre it's in. It's a middle grade monthly, and so that's where I want to read it. <laughs> that's all I need. As I said, I'll have the Twitter linked in description, as well as Jay's channel and Gavin's channel, if you want to go figure out what middle grade monthly is and join. Those are going to be the books, both the first and the second one, but I'm only going to put the first one on this TBR. So that was all of the roles and I only have one more book to put on my TBR. This was the only one I could not like figure out a way to put into the different prompts and that is Heartstopper by Alice. This is not Heartstopper. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. 
and I have read Heartstopper by her, really liked it, it's a graphic novel series, there's three out so far, really highly recommend them. And this one is very very beloved on booktube, so many people love this, like love it. But the reason why I haven't picked it up is because it's a contemporary and not my go-to, but I think it's going to be perfect now. I do have access to the audiobook, I will be better reading this with my best friend Annika, so that's going to be fun. Hopefully we're both like it, we both love Heartstopper, so I think it should be good. I also know that Sarah, I'll have her channel link in the description, also really likes this and I've liked a lot of her recommendations so I'm hoping that it will be the same with this one. I don't know a whole lot what it's about, I know it's a contemporary, it has to do with like a podcast or a radio show and I've heard that the audiobook for this is good. I did buy this beautiful UK edition so I'm really happy about that. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be the last thing that I'm adding on to my TBR. So, that was it for the official, so not, not this one because it's not officially on the, the game. I have these, I also get to the spines. I have these three, Red, White and Royal Blue, Adult, Contemporary, Kiel Malo, Sanganes, Hamlehat, which is a middle grade fantasy. We have Hunting Prince Dracula, which is a historical fiction. We have them A Pinch of Magic, which is something middle grade. It looks like a fantasy to me, but I don't really know. And then we have the Cannibal Cove book, My Life, that I don't know what I'm going to do, but hopefully you guys know. That was it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm feeling hopeful because I do have access to audio for all of these. None of these are like adult fantasy, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it because um, I feel like I'm starting to understand my limits when it comes to reading. So let's see if that's the case. I don't know. As always, I'll have my social media linked in the description as well as the other TBR games that I know of. If you like TBR games, go check out all of the ones in the description. The people that I mentioned, I'll have them linked in the description. And if there's something I've forgotten, I'll have a link in the description. I'll have all of these books linked. Basically, I do a lot of stuff in the descriptions. So if you're wondering about anything, it's probably down there. If not, feel free to leave a comment. It's really lovely. It makes my day. Especially when, you know, this is the only video I do right now. I'm hoping. I don't think March is going to be better. But maybe like April, May, I can start doing more videos than just TBRs. But I'm having fun. It's good. I'm going to go take a nap now. So I'll see you guys probably in a month. Bye.